Hello, I'm Austin Meyer, and today we're going to fly in my Columbia 400, and I'm going to show you Xavion, which is an iPad app that I wrote. Here's what Xavion does. It draws all of the instruments for your instrument panel on the iPad. So if you have a complete instrumentation failure in flight, you still have your critical instruments displayed on your iPad so you can continue to fly if it's IFR or night. As well, Xavion constantly runs flight simulations for power off glides to every airport within gliding range of the airplane. And it shows you whichever glide is most likely to be safe in the event of an engine failure to take you down to the best runway to glide down to. So as you're flying with Xavion, your iPad is showing you your primary flight instruments. You have a glide path down to the best runway to glide down to if the engine fails right at that moment. So if you lose instruments or engine, Xavion is ready to help you and bring you down safely. So in a sense, you could think of Xavion as being an iPad app that backs up all of your main instruments and, in a sense, your engine as well. Now, we'll start with the pre-flight function of Xavion. This is a really simple little system. This simply lets you enter your birthday, the date of your last BFR, and when you've entered the various uh, BFR date and instrument currency date and the annual date on your airplane into the iPad, it simply shows you whether you're current enough uh, to fly. Simple little feature, but if you get ramp checked, it'll be real nice to have it. Next, weight and balance. I simply enter my weight, which is running around 230 these days, the weight of the film crew, which is running probably around a little, a little over 400 between them, and uh, about 45 gallons of gas or so we've got, and we see our weight and balance for the entire flight at all the uh, fuel burns. So, with just a few little swipes and touches, we see that we are current, the airplane's current, and we're in weight and balance. That's a lot of the stuff you need to get through a ramp check, which is just a few swipes of an iPad. It's a real nice thing to have if the FAA comes knocking and asking you if you're ready to go. So, that's how you set up Xavion before flight. Here you see your primary instruments, airspeed on the left, altitude on the right, vertical speed, uh, synthetic vision system, and uh, us sitting here at CAE Airport, and you're gonna see a path down to the best runway to glide down to in the event of engine failure. We'll go up for a quick flight. I'll pull the engine back to idle at a time that I don't plan ahead very much, and we'll follow the hoops on down to the runway to land. So let's start at the engine and see how it goes. Clear prop. All right, let's go flying. All right, so we're going to do a takeoff, and during the takeoff roll, you can look at this, this synthetic vision system on Xavion, and you'll see the runway go by, and you'll see the airspeed, altitude, and vertical speed all change during the takeoff. As well, as we climb out, you'll see the gliding range shown on the map. Basically, the area that you see on the map in Xavion that is colored in is where you can glide if the engine quits. So, during takeoff, you'll see that the world is mostly black, and the colored area gradually expands as we climb and more gliding range is available to us. And now you'll notice the world is black because we can't glide anywhere. We're on the ground. But the colored area will expand as we climb up and get to more gliding opportunities. And now what you see as we, as we start to climb is a little bit of color starting to appear in front of us. This is where we would go if we didn't quit right now. Holding short. And now notice what we see here on the map. We see the hoops in front of us making a left 270 degree turn to CUB. In other words, if the engine quit right now, even though I, I can't see this airport off my right wing because the wing and the, and the aircraft are all in the way, I would simply hit this button and now follow these magenta hoops through three-dimensional space right down to Owens Bravo Downtown zero, Field, zero, CUB. Right, At that point, zero. we would have a successful landing on runway 13, even though right now I can't even see it. When we arrived at the runway, we would be at the right speed, heading and altitude for a safe power off landing. Okay, so here we are motoring along in the airway, a little bit of light chop, a little bit of turbulence, and what Xavion is showing us is if the engine quit, we could barely make it to MMT, which is a local uh, Air Force base. Oh, and now that the line has gone candy cane on us, we can't make it at all. So you see the gliding range here on the map. This shows us where we can glide. You'll notice the nearest airport is just barely outside of that gliding range. That means if the engine quit now, we could not make it to an airport. This is still great information. Now I know to go for a field or a road. Okay, so here we are motoring along across the airways at about 7,000 feet or so, and this is how we normally use Xavion. We navigate the airplane using the standard aircraft instruments, 
But on Xavion, we see every place that we can glide to. It's the area that's highlighted in green. As well, we always see our path that we can follow down to the runway if the engine quits. That path is at a constant descent rate that's appropriate for this airplane. So when we arrive at the airport, we're at speed, heading, and altitude for a normal landing. We're not going to come up short, and we're not going to overrun the far end of the runway either. That's the way to plan a power-off approach, and that's what Xavion does. Now, let's say that you're flying an older airplane that maybe doesn't have a good GPS and moving map, and you're still trying to navigate by those darn needles. Well, it's a little tricky to do sometimes. So, let's look at what's called a highway in the sky system, or HITS. And we have this on the Xavion. We simply hit the HITS menu, H-I-T-S, highway in the sky system, hit direct. Let's go to say K uh, R C Z K R C Z. And let's say we wanted to go at 9,000 feet. And now we go to map. And now we simply see some hoops that lead us to our destination. If I can aim the airplane through these little hoops, we're going to arrive at where we want to be. This is the way navigation systems should work. And this is the way the navigation system works in Xavion. Enter your destination and altitude and fly three-dimensional hoops to get there. And you can enter all the fixes along the way if you want to zigzag to meet instrument approaches or departures if you like as well. This, I believe, is how we should be navigating airplanes these days. Okay, so here we are flying along, and let's say, possibly, that all of a sudden we lose all of our instrumentation. Dim the brightness on my G1000 here. So here we are in a dark cockpit. We've just lost our instruments. Now imagine it's night, or in instrument conditions. We've had an electrical failure, for example. The engine is still running, but the electricity is gone or the avionics are gone. If it's night or IFR, we're looking at what may be a fatal situation. But look at Xavion. It's completely independent, running on your iPad. We have our speed, altitude, synthetic vision system, highway in the sky system, and the path to the best available airport. I'm just going to hit the emergency button now, and I'm just going to follow these little hoops right to Camden. We can land safely. As well, the same thing could happen if the engine quit. We could simply follow the path down to the nearest, best airport to land at in the event of engine failure. So, in the event of loss of your instruments, or your engine, or both, you can follow your iPad down to safety. This is a nice app to have, and it's called Xavion. Let me take X-ray from the tower, wind 200. Zero zero. Uh, number two, following the citation, cock short turbulence, runway 29 clear to land. Number two. Okay, so we're flying on along, and all of a sudden, imagine that we have an engine failure. I'm going to pull the power most of the way back, but leave a little bit in there just to keep the engine warm. But we're going to deploy the flaps so we have the same amount of drag. We're going to hit the panic button, and let's see if we can follow this, uh, this path in to Columbia Metro. Really, nothing could be easier. All we do is throw in some flaps to add some drag, or yank out the power. Either one will take us down to the same descent rate in this airplane. And aim through these magenta hoops. If we follow these magenta hoops, they'll take us right to the runway. And even though I'm not looking at the airport or the runway right now, I know that because I'm following these hoops and my energy generator is right in the middle of the dial, we're going to arrive at the runway with just the right speed, heading, and altitude for a normal landing. We're not going to come up short, and we're not going to overrun the runway either. All I do is aim the airplane through the hoops. Nothing to it. Nothing to be easier to do, and this is going to get us to the airport for a safe power off landing. And here we are following these hoops down to landing, even though it's a visual day. But imagine if it was night, or we were in the clouds, and we had an engine failure. I think that this display would be pretty nice at that point because we can follow these hoops right to the ground. Also, imagine we had a complete instrumentation failure. Imagine we lost all our avionics because of an electrical system failure or something stupid and simple like a blown fuse. All we do is follow these magenta hoops right down to the runway and we'll be safe. The right limit, Charlie, any left turn, ground point, that off the runway. Hey, Lima Charlie. And here we are, coming along through the hoops, leading us right to the runway. Look on this display here, and you can see we're aiming right through the hoops to the, run to the runway. Look out the window, and you'll see the runway right in front of us. If we were in the clouds right now, our guidance would be just the same, and that runway would be a pretty nice sight when you come out of the clouds.
and we've got the last magenta hoop. Then we're going to come through the green gate. And that marks the point where we really should be expected to be visual in just about any weather conditions. 500. And here's the green gate that's similar to the end of an instrument approach. Fly through that, the runway should be right in front of us. Let's look out the window and see. <laughs> yep, there it is. We're coming in steep because this is a power off approach. Windy today. There we go. So it was a simulated engine failure from a, an unknown and different location without any advanced planning on my part on a pretty windy, turbulent day. We wind up right in the middle of the runway, and that's exactly what you want in the engine failure emergency. <laughs> 